commas in compound sentences. A comma is usually used to keep apart two or more independent clauses within a compound sentence when they are joined together by a coordinating or in some cases a correlative conjunction. Here are what coordinating and correlative conjunctions look like. There are seven coordinating conjunctions for and nor but or yet and so. The acronym fanboy helps you to remember them. Correlative conjunctions consist of pairs of conjunctions. A few examples are either or and both and or not only but commas in compound sentences. Three examples of compound sentences using coordinating conjunctions. The kids discovered that collecting stamps was fun, so they asked their neighbours for some envelopes. He wanted to see the book's author, but he arrived too late. Hudson wants to learn how to play the guitar, and he is excited about his new lessons. Commas in compound sentences. An example of a compound sentence using a correlative conjunction. Using correlative conjunctions, not only and but. Not only did my mother buy me a cake, but she decorated it too. Commas in compound sentences. If you're uncertain whether the sentence needs a comma, try checking if each half of the sentence makes sense on its own. You can check if each half makes sense by replacing the conjunction with a period. For example, there was no precedent for such an action, yet the soldiers marched onwards. without the conjunction. There was no precedent for such an action. The soldiers marched onwards. Since each half can stand alone, has a subject, and makes sense, a comma should precede the conjunction. Commas in compound sentences. Compound subjects and compound predicates shouldn't be divided by commas. Look at this example. My parents flew to the tropics and had a miserable holiday. This sentence doesn't require a comma as the phrase had a miserable holiday is missing its subject. Therefore, the sentence cannot stand alone. Here is also an example of a compound predicate flew to the tropics plus had a miserable holiday therefore it doesn't need a comma commas in compound sentences let's review the previous point i should have returned my library book but left it in my school bag as in the previous example this sentence won't need a comma because the phrase left it in my school bag cannot stand alone and is missing its subject Let's practice what you have learned today. Commas in compound sentences. Some of the sentences at the local shooting gallery have lost their commas. Your challenge is to guess which sentences require commas or not. Can you guess where they go or are they correct as is? You have seven seconds to choose an answer before it is revealed. Tip. Can the two halves stand alone or is the subject missing? Do you think you're good enough? Well, let's go.
how did you go? If you got some wrong, watch the video again. Thank you for coming along. For further lessons, help, tips and advice, visit www.mykindofenglish.com. Well, what are you waiting for? Give us a call.